You are now on. We are behind the scenes of Remy Palacios' music video. This is a production of Cut em Entertainment. We also have Arona Productions. Thank you to everyone that has made this project come true. This is Powerhouse Bombshells. We have the division now, the label, Powerhouse Music Records. Follow me. I want to introduce you to everyone that's here. This is behind the scenes. We got Remy Palacio. So we're gonna start. Remy Palacio is originally known for his song Diamond Girl, originally from Nice and Wild. He basically has been doing many great things, and he's here from Las Vegas. Living the dream, we're living a moment. Uh, this is our first video out of the label, and it's at a very exciting moment for us. Remy, tell us about you know your history. You know you did Nice and Wild, Diamond Girl. Do a little bit of your Diamond Girl. Diamond Girl, well, Diamond Girl. I picked Spanish and Diamond Girl. I'm sure everybody can remember. Mi niña de diamante, si tú eres, si tú eres. And back then, actually, a lot of artists weren't doing that. They weren't putting Spanish in English. We're talking about this was 1985. So my history goes back even before 1985. If you rewind to 1983, when Breaking Breaking came out, Breakdancing came out, you know, you had in, in New York, the New York City Breakers, Rocksteady, which, you know, Crazy Legs right, is crazy one of your friends. Shout out to Crazy Legs, crazy Rocksteady legs. crew. When that whole movement was coming out, Little Remy was in Miami with his crew. We were called the FBI crew. And we battled everybody and beat everybody. So the FBI crew, we actually became very successful. We were in movies. We had a song called Rockin' It, which charted and billboard and everything. And it was in a movie called Cry of the City, uh, which um, Sammy Davis was the lead, but then he was actually taken out of the movie. The movie came out a little bit after that. The, the group of six people, the FBI crew, we took three guys and we made Nice and Wild. 1985, that's when we came out with Diamond Girl. At first, they didn't even want to play it because you know it was like kind of like a different sound. So we were very, inno very innovative. When 